So in a, in the context, the question is in the context of 12 steps and people saying that the point of the work is to be happy, joyous and free. Um, and uh, and I'm sort of saying in, in my teachings that, um, you know, uh, if you commit to being happy, joyous and free, lots of stuff's going to come up for you to deal with, uh, which you've got to deal with and transcend. So like if someone in 12 steps groups say, well, the, you know, why am I doing all this work? Uh, the big book says God's will for me is to be happy, joyous, and free. Uh, and you're saying that there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done. Well, it's because in the big book, it says that we have to deal with the wreckage of our past and make amends for it. So the big book has, it does require you to do work. So to go from a place of grievance and fear, you need to do inventory, commit your life to God, and to make amends. And uh, then you reach step nine where you're feeling happy, joyous and free, but you've got to keep doing 10, 11, 12 just to keep clean on a daily basis. So work is required uh, to be uh, happy, joyous and free. Once you've done your got to step nine, you need to keep making sure you don't pick up any resentments or fears. And uh, because you've, um, you're beyond human aid now, uh, you need to make a commitment to... Um, for your daily reprieve uh, to help others and not just and so as to give a defense against becoming self-centered again uh, and just thinking about yourself only so that is uh, and then you're going to be happy joyous and free it's like uh, if i'm saying there's going to be work well the big book does say there's going to be work um, but if you do the work you're going to be happy joyous and free as, uh, as long as you're you're honest in the way you do your work so uh, the idea that you can be happy, joyous, and free without doing any work uh, or without any commitment, um, like, okay, God wants me to be happy, joyous, free, so I will be. Well, if you can, then then do it. But if you've still got stuff, then you have to do, do the work. Uh, most people in 12-step groups that are looking happy, joyous, and free have either done the work or are continuing to do the work to maintain the work. And uh, they're happy, joyous, and free as a result of the work. So, um, uh, if you if a, if the person is saying to me, "Can't I be happy and joyous and free while doing the work?" Well, you have to do some initial work to get to the happy, joyous, and free, and then you can do the work in a happy, joyous, and free state. But usually, if you're uh, drinking ten pints, a hundred pints of alcohol, and you're suicidal. You will you're probably not going to just suddenly go into happy, joyous, and free uh, without doing some preliminary work. And then once you're in the preliminary work, what can happen is you carry on doing the work, but it becomes effortless. So you are happy, joyous, and free, even though you're going to meetings and helping other people. So it is true, uh, but you um, you know uh, there are some things you need to do, um, and you got to also realize that um, alignment with spiritual happiness is that you're in aligned with God's will. You can't be happy, joyous, and free if you're just thinking about eating donuts and being the most powerful, famous person on the planet, because that's not based on truth. Um, so that's uh, that's an ego, uh, that's your ego wish. It's not um, a proper spiritual alignment with true happiness, joy, and freedom. So what is happiness, joy, and freedom? What is spiritual alignment and not being aligned with your ego? So, um, uh, so I mean, I mean, I think what can also be a problem is that the idea of spiritual work sounds very onerous. Well, uh, spiritual works. I mean, maybe the word work does make the ego uh, heckles come up and resentments come up, but it's not. It's basically the energy that's required to get proper spiritual alignment. So you're not in resentments and, and grievances all day long, and in your ego. So the work is to be out of your illusions so that, you, so that you experience that your true nature is happiness, joy, and freedom and flow. So <clears throat> uh, to be in your ego and expect happiness, joy, and freedom is, is an illusion. So that's why the, the, work, the work is required to undo um, your, um, uh, your um, agreement with all your ego mechanisms. So uh, the work is more like the work of undoing or surrender or letting go of what uh, what is based in illusion. 
to be your true nature, which is naturally happy, joyous, and free. So your true nature is happy, joyous, and free, but your ego nature is actually that of suffering. <clears throat> 